Three, two, one, go. Alright, so this is the Mater D. The name of the game is Waiter Simulator 2016. You can probably only already know some strange things going on. Uh, this waiter somehow has a magic stretching ability. Don't ask me how he got that ability because I don't know either. <laughs> Uh, there are two main abilities, uh, the stretching ability that you've already seen, which you can use by pressing the arrow keys, and the retract ability that you can use by pressing the Q, E, or S keys. And there's a little thing you can do with the retract mechanic, where you can jump while you're retracting, and that's an intended mechanic in the game, but we can exploit that mechanic to get jumps that we're not really intended to get. And that will become more apparent as the game goes on, because we'll be skipping a lot of things with it. Magnifique. Right now it's just going through these levels. You also may know some weird sounds with the stretching mechanic, but don't worry about it. Très bien. Almost film spikes there, but we're fine. Oh, something I should also explain with the stretching mechanic is that you can probably see a lotion bottle in the bottom left. Now that serves as our energy meter, and the amount of drops in that meter represents the amount of blocks that we can, ex that we can extend the waiter's body. And there will be certain jumps later on, like in the level I just did, where we'll be working with very literal amounts of lotion. And this level is the first tricky jump of the game because we have to try to get to this customer as quickly as we can by sending just like that to get up to him. That's one of the first tricky jumps of the game. This level is probably one of the more fun levels for me to do. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Uh, dying in this game is pretty bad, because if you die in a level, you have to redo the whole level over again. Which is not necessarily that fun. Anyways, I was saying, this level is probably one of the more fun levels for me, because I really like the platforming in it. One other thing I also forgot to mention with the stretching mechanic is that you can jump while you're attracting. Or no, not, not that, but you can you can attract one block to the right, and then or no, stretch one block to the right, and then instantly cancel it by retracting. And you can chain that together for really fast movement, like I did there. Also, there's bombs in this restaurant as well as spike bits, but again, just ignore that. This is the tricky jump I was talking about earlier. And we got it. So now it's just a stretch of a few somewhat difficult platforming levels to the last level. This one isn't any better than the level I just did because there's a few particularly long spike bits that we have to get over. And there's this one bit of spikes there in the corner that is really mean and likes to kill me as I finish this level. So let's hope that doesn't happen. And that didn't. Merci. 
else see me as well. <laughs> so now we're on the last level. This level isn't too bad. In all honesty. Gets these customers and get to the end. Alright, so this is the last level of the game, which also, oddly enough, serves with the credits level, and timing will be coming up in a little bit. Time. What was the time? Wow, that's actually really good. I actually got 5:48 earlier in the practice room, so that was being one second off. That is pretty good. All right, so we're not quite done here actually, because I believe we actually met an incentive to showcase not bounds. So I will do that really quick. Alright, so slight spoiler alert, there is not bounce trick you can do in the game. And what you do is you get an NPC on your head like I have right now. And then spam the retract and extension inputs in order to clip into the ceiling. And if you continue spamming those inputs, you will get clipped out of bounds. And there really is nothing to it when I say that you do actually just have to spam the inputs and then you're clipped out of bounds. Let's see that really quick here. It will be in a few levels or so. By Jove. Magnifique. Alright. This is level one. So let's see how quickly I get this. This can be a bit tricky. There we go. Alright, so this is a glitch that I like to call doing the wiggly worm. And the reason for that is because clipping out of bounds in this particular level causes this waiter sprite to mess up, like you can see here, uh, such that he ends up looking like a bit, bit like a worm. Alright, so there's nothing we can really do here because there's no way to clip back into the level. So the only way to go from here is to jump off the side and fall into oblivion. And there's, we're pretty much soft locked at this point. There's nothing we can really do. We can mess around with the extension mechanic a little bit, but there's nothing we can really do past this point. All right, so that's the Mater D. Hope you enjoyed that.